In this tutorial, we are going to explain how to code, clean, and import data into Jamovi and perform basic uh, statistics. So as you can see, this is Likert scale data and the questions are uh, coded as follows. It is important to code them using abbreviations without space and very short, let's say, uh, letters or rather short words and uh, few characters as in this tutorial, we are going to see how to uh, prepare data for analysis in Jamovi by coding it, cleaning it, and uh, putting it in the software. So first, we need to put these, let's say, um, abbreviations or acronyms for each question, and we can just number them like that. And we have like a code book in the background for the same for this one, for example, E uh, A, which uh, stands for uh, uh, exam anxiety till like 1 to uh, 17 so I just need to go here to Excel and I just put uh, uh, E A 1 and then I can just copy this value into 2 and then uh, I will just select the 2 and then scroll down till uh, 17 so yeah like this uh, right click copy go back here and find the first one and uh, right click again and put this uh, paste transpose which is transpose click like that and that's it so here this data is ready to be imported into a uh, jam movie so for the coding there is another video that explains how to do the coding automatically you can find it in the description box below so i can just save this one and go to uh uh, so I can open Jamovi, then this uh, button and special import and I need to browse and then find the newly, uh, let's say, clean data, which is this uh, file. See here, Jamovi accepts these extensions. So uh, it should be in CSV format or other formats like in JASP because Jamovi is part of JASP. So you would just click import. And the data is imported. I can just delete these empty cells. All right. So now that I have the data on SPSS or rather Jamovi, I can just uh, see if some items uh, need reverse coding. So this should be defined earlier. Otherwise, I need to test the reliability of uh, the items that constitute each scale uh, before combining the items together. So to test the reliability, I go to analyze the factor then reliability analysis. So I just need to put the uh, first set of items together here and see the Chromebox Alpha reliability, uh, which uh, turns out to be good Chromebox Alpha. So it is uh, above 0.7, the threshold that is the uh, defined already uh, here I could find uh, like McDonald's uh, Omega or other uh, values uh, but I just don't need them in case I found the Chromebox Alpha lower than this you could see which items can be dropped so that the Chromebox Alpha can be improved which items may need to be reverse coded so that the Chromebox Alpha can be improved uh, for instance uh, if you want to improve this Chromebox Alpha like to uh, Point, uh, 0.743 I need to reverse code or drop this item which is SMA3 so in this case we need to for instance but here I, I'm just telling you this in the example as an example but normally you don't need to do it here so I just need to go back to the data on this window and I find this uh, variable and then I can uh, reverse code it by going to uh, transform so I will just uh, refer this to this as R, which means reverse coded. And I go to um, using transform and then I can create new transform. And then I call it uh, SME3R. And I will come here. And I will just put a dot or something, then underscore, and then I put R just to uh, make it, let's say, distinguished. So here, this uh, scale, 
if we check it's a five point Likert scale so this one from very rarely to very often so it's five point so this means that i just need to add one uh, so it will become six minus the uh, uh, score that is there so let's just go back to Jamovi to illustrate you see here this equation so we have the Likert scale from one to five but i need to add plus uh, one so which means here it is, it is going to be six then i will put a minus the the source the dollar sign the source and just click somewhere else and you could see the magic so here four becomes two one becomes five and one becomes uh, again uh, five two four three three etc if i just uh, go back you will see how it was and then we reverse coded that uh, so into this so this is very uh, correct you could see you could double check by scrolling the data like this so this is in brief how we do a reverse coding on a, a jamovi after reverse coding uh, we can just compute the overall mean score since this uh, uh, scale is reliable and uh, hence we can just combine the items together to form a composite score uh, to do this again i need just to go to cell and then uh, let's say call it total a new computed variable so here i will just refer to it as uh, overall mean score of let's say social media addiction and here i need to put this equation uh, so i just need to put the uh, rows and the name of the rows so that's why i told you about the coding earlier so sma1 then comma sma2 then comma then sme3 etc so what i'm doing here is just uh, putting the items together if we go back to the scale so that you can understand so i'm just merging all of these items so one two three four five six into one um, construct we call it a latent construct these are what we call the um, uh, observed indicators so this is what i'm doing since we found that they are reliable so we are just combining them as as, a, as one let's say construct one question and we use compute variable on jamovi or transform or compute variable also on on, on spaces so let me just finish this so rather i need to use the plus uh sign sma2 then plus etc so i just need to keep uh, putting these together so there are six value let's say uh items so i just need to keep um the way like this for productivity again copying and then uh, reduplicating so that i don't keep repeating this mechanical process so we have five then we have six so i think we have six this is the total number of the items yeah so here you see uh, i'm not including the item that i reverse coded uh, in case i want to include that i will just remove this one and include the one that has already been reverse uh, coded but here we just uh, did we don't need that so that's why i didn't include it here since the scale was already reliable so i just used that for demonstration so here after you finish so we have one two then three four five and then six so one two three four five six so you just hit enter and you could see here the overall mean score uh, you could uh, just put these between uh, parentheses and divide them all together by the uh, number of items so that you can just get the overall mean score so this one you could see here the this is the overall mean score so you just put these between parentheses and you divide them by their their numbers so one two three four five six so this is here like this is where you can get the overall mean score and you can just use this mean score and you can just uh, let's say uh, label it as sme like social media addiction so I just keep it like that and i can just uh, use this one to run other tests like uh, uh, normality tests like regression like correlation like independence of the t test like ANOVA 
etc uh, etc et so this is in brief how you can analyze Likert scale surveys using Jamovi if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below and see you soon bye for now